Namaste and a very, very good evening to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to create a dual access chart using Power BI. Even before I go ahead and proceed, how to create a dual access chart using Power BI, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Let's begin by asking a simple question. What exactly is a dual access chart and why do we use a dual access chart? A dual access chart is also popularly called as multiple access chart. I repeat, it is also popularly called as multiple access chart. In a dual access chart, you have two Y axis. The first Y axis is called as the primary axis. And the second y axis is called as the secondary axis. Along with the two y axis, you also have the x axis. Typically, a dual axis chart is used to show the relationship between two variables which have different magnitude and scales of measurement. Popularly, a dual axis chart is also called as a combo chart. Let me now introduce you to the data set that I'll be working on. As you can see here, this is the data set which is present in spreadsheet. It is what is called as sample superstore data set. I've got customer transaction data. I've got five columns in this particular data set. The first column here is customer name. Which region does he belong to? Then you have subcategory of the product the sales value and the profit value. If you look at the first customer, her name is Claire. She belongs to the region South. She has purchased bookcases. The sales value is approximately 261 units and the profit is 41 units. What I want to do with this particular data is use sales as the primary axis use profit as the secondary axis. So in a dual axis chart, you'll have two vertical axis. The first vertical axis is sales and the second vertical axis is profit. What am I gonna use as the X axis? You can use any of the categorical variables as the X axis. Here, I will be using subcategory as the X axis. With this introduction, let me proceed to show you how to create a dual access chart in Power BI. This is Power BI and this is the interface of Power BI. You're already familiar with the interface of Power BI. This is what is called as the report canvas, which is used to construct the dual access chart. At the right hand side top corner, you have three different options. The first is filters, second visualization, and the third one is fields. Let me go ahead and expand the visualization pane. In this section, you have close to 30 different default visualization. As you can see here, in the second row, you have what is called as the combo chart or the dual axis chart. Here you have two different types of dual axis chart. The first one is what is called as line and stacked column chart. I repeat, the first of the dual axis charts that Power BI offers is line and stacked column chart. Next to it, you have what is called as line and clustered column chart. I repeat, this chart is called as line and clustered column chart. Let me go ahead and click on line and clustered column chart. You can see here, this is how the visual appears. I'm going to go ahead and expand this particular visual. You can see the properties of a dual axis chart. It is expecting me to specify a X axis. Then you have column Y axis and you also need to specify the line Y axis. I'll go ahead and expand the fields pane now. I've already loaded the data set, which is called as orders data set. Let me go ahead and display all the fields. There are five different fields here. Along the X axis, I will be choosing the categorical variable, which is that categorical variable. The categorical variable that I will choose is subcategory. 
So let me go ahead, drag and drop it under the X axis. Now I need to specify the Y axis, which will, which will be shown using the column chart. And to show the column chart, I will be using the variable sales. Let me drag and drop the variable sales along the column Y axis. Right now, what you have is a simple column chart. You can see here the different subcategories along the X axis, and you can see the total, total sales along the Y axis. Let me scroll down. Here, Power BI is asking me, which variable do you want to use for the secondary axis? The secondary axis will be shown using the line chart. I will be using the variable profit and hence I'll drag and drop the variable profit under the Y axis. Let me go ahead and resize this particular visual. You can see here the columns basically represent sales and the line here shows basically the profit value. Now, there are a couple of things that you can do here. One is you can go ahead and format the column chart as well as the lines. How do you format this particular chart? To format any visual, what you can do is you can go ahead and in the visualization section, you have an option which is called as format your visual. You can go ahead and click on this particular option, which is called as format your visual. You can format your X axis, Y axis, or the secondary axis. Let me scroll down. You can see here, there are different options. I'm going to firstly format the primary axis. And therefore, let me go ahead and expand the column section. There are a couple of things that you can do here. The default blue color, if you want, you can just click on the drop down menu and change it to a different color. You can see here, you have a totally different color now. The second thing that you might want to do is go ahead and format the line chart as well. Let me scroll down to format the line chart. You can see here, you can specify a different shape. The line style right now is solid. If you click on the drop down menu, you can choose either dashed or dotted. Let me try the third option here, which is basically a dotted style. You also have join type. If you want, you can just increase the stroke width or decrease it perhaps. It's entirely under your control, so you can uh, play around with this however you want. You have the color section here. In this section, I'm going to click the drop down menu. From a range of colors here, you could choose any of the colors here. Let me try one of the colors here. Further, I can scroll down and choose markers. Right now, it's in the off mode, I can go ahead and turn this on. Let me scroll down. Under the shape option, you can choose the drop down menu. You have different shapes here. I can go ahead and choose one of these shapes. These are some of the basic formatting that you could try with any of the charts. Let me come back to the visualization section. What I like to do is I like to display the data labels. As you can see here, it's a bit difficult for me to read the data labels. If I want to specifically check what is the value of sales for phone subcategory or chair subcategory, it becomes very, very difficult. I have to hover the cursor on each of the bars. Not so easy to do it. So let me go back to the format section. Here you can see both the visual option as well as the general option. I'm going to scroll down under the visual section. You have what is called as data labels. Right now it is the off mode. I'm going to turn this on. You can see here the moment you turn this on, what happens is Power BI displays the value of sales 
on top of the column, it also displays the value of the profit on top of the line here. Now, there are a couple of things that I'd like to do. Firstly, I'd like to go back to the visualization property, scroll down. Remember, this is just a simple dual axis chart. But if you want to include a additional variable, especially under the column legend section, what you could go ahead and do is you can use the variable region, drag this and drop it under the column legend. I know it looks messy because you have 17 different subcategories. I repeat, there are 17 different subcategories and there are too many clusters for each of these subcategories. Instead of looking at 17 different subcategories, what I wish to do is I'd like to filter this and look at only a few subcategories. To filter the data, you can see here, there's an option called as filter. Let me go ahead and expand this. You can either filter based on region or you can filter based on subcategory. I'm going to go ahead and expand the subcategory option. If you choose select all, all the 17 subcategories will be highlighted. I'm not interested in all the 17 subcategories. I'm interested in only a few subcategories, namely phones. I'm also interested in paper, let's say furnishing, machines, and supplies. So these are the five categories which I'm interested in. Further, if you want to apply a filter based on region, you can highlight, you can select the variable region. By default, what Power BI does is it displays the clusters for the four regions. Let's say you are interested only in the central, eastern, and southern region. You're not interested in looking at the western region, and therefore you could go ahead and ignore the western region. If you happen to change your, change your mind, you can include the western region as well and knock off the southern region. It's entirely under your control. You could play around with each of these things however you want. But for this particular demo, I'll just choose central, eastern, and southern region. Let me remove the filter option. Let me also remove the visualization option. What you have right now is a dual axis chart in Power BI. How do we interpret this? Now, when you look at phones category, within phones, you have three different groups. You can see here the central region, the eastern region, and the southern region. The longest bar here corresponds to eastern region. So in the eastern region, you're making the highest level of sales. Similarly, consistently for machines, furnishings, paper, as well as supplies, the region is the best sales comes from the eastern region. When you focus on the phones category, you can just look at this particular bar. This particular bar corresponds to the central region and central region is in the second position when it comes to the sales of phones. When you look at machines, let me hover the cursor here. The southern region is where the second highest level of sales comes from. This is how Power BI makes it very, very easy to create a dual axis chart. With this, I have come to the end of this particular video. In today's video, we've seen how to create a dual axis chart. We've also seen the different elements of dual, dual axis chart. We've seen how to change the markers, how to display the data labels. Further, we went on to filter the data based on certain conditions. I thank you very much for watching this particular video. I request you to subscribe to my channel. Also like and share my videos. Thank you very much. Have a great day ahead.